Alex here. Um, today we have the um, Tangent 52 foot corrugated side gondolas in both Conrail and NS scheme. I know they also make these in PRR and PC, but you weren't going to be seeing much of those on the lamp, so we don't really have those. And then we also have these uh, banded steel coils which will probably be used as loads for those, or flat cars. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to do another video for this, or what, but we also have the 40-foot uh, sliding door box cars, I believe. Uh, these are in Milwaukee Road, Union Pacific, Green Bay and Western, and Northern Pacific. I'll probably have a different segment. I don't know how new any of this stuff is. I just thought it'd be a cool thing to take a look at because we haven't done a review lately and I've been building something pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and do some reviews tonight, see how many of those I can get uploaded. So let's get right into the video. Taking this out of the box, I noticed a really big difference, being the NS one is for the steel loads only, and then the Conrail ones can be used for any form of scrap, I believe, and then the steel coils as well. But taking a look at this, we have the, I guess, support, you could say, that when you set the coils in, they won't be rolling around, unlike Conrail. So... That's one thing to notice. Other than that, there aren't really big differences other than the NS plate on the side and the coil steel loading only mark on that car. So we're gonna be taking a look at the Conrail one. Um, starting off, I guess, on the left top corner, I guess, we have the reporting marks. And on the right side, we have the Conrail logo. We have some, the capacity and weights, things like that right there we flip the car to the bottom we have the um, airlines and compressor which is a really nice detail and then either end i believe um other than the brake wheel the details should be the same sorry about the lighting i'm trying something new so we don't have the overhead anymore oh that or it's just a light bar now but yeah that's something that works pretty well uh we have the airline Hose, which you can barely see due to light and then we have ladders wow these keep falling off that happened on the ns one uh so i'll have to glue that back on but yeah we have ladders on the sides um all four of them and then the oh that just completely left hmm. and then just the corrugated panels on all of it i guess and then i don't not quite sure I think that's the dates that they've been to shops, maybe. And if they are up to date, it's not really focusing on that. Oh boy. All right, but yeah, that's the gondolas themselves. I guess if we bring the NS one over here, we can go ahead and throw the loads in. And you guys can see how those sit, which is pretty good. That's nice. So when we go ahead and set them out on the layout they should run pretty well so i will see you guys over there so we're over here at the layout uh there's some conrail b36-7 starting up <clears throat> i thought that would be a fitting train for this because conrail cars conrail locomotives maybe a conrail local so i thought that would be pretty cool it's going to take a second to get down here i don't know how i set up so far but um, from what I can see so far, these cars do look to be running really well. I did roll them back and forth before this, and I didn't have any problems with derailing 
or anything like that. So they aren't making much noise or any noise whatsoever. So that's really cool. So got the locomotives coming in here. I'll just put my table. bit of noise, but nothing too bad. I guess it's only like going over where the tracks meet, and then the, the switches make no noise whatsoever. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm running out of space here because I do not have track all the way cleared off. Well, yeah, that was, I don't know, I guess we can go backwards real quick. Go a little slower this time. Oh yeah. There we go. Though, I don't know. Tangent did a really good job on these. Um, from what I've seen, they are a really good company. Um, yeah, no complaints whatsoever. So, yeah. That's, I guess, it <laughs> for the video. I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, I probably will be putting out another... Oh, that was convenient. One of the B36-7 is derailed. Alright, there we go. Hopefully, I'll be putting out another video tonight. Um, that'll be a kid of some sort. Yeah. I hope everyone enjoyed. And I'll see you guys then.